Welcome to the bridge call tonight. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to welcome everybody here and also my friend Danny here. Danny, how are you doing? Excellent. We had great weather today out in the sun. Uh, it's nice to see everybody here today. Beautiful spring I love day. Your back oh, sorry. I love your backdrop. Mine? Yeah, compared well, to mine. <laughs> they they sell them quite cheap on Amazon. They don't go oh. for much. Oh, is it Amazon? Anyway, they're cheap. Hmm. Yeah. Because in like Zoom, it. you can change your backdrop, no problem, which I don't do, but yeah, I have no idea how to do that. I know what you mean. <laughs> Mine's real. It hangs on the wall. It's a real backdrop behind the couch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Works. I've been wanting to use it for a long time. Here we go. So Exciting. how's everybody doing tonight? How's the week been? Anybody yeah. having uh, upsets or sideways switches? Been calm? Grounding, everything is just. Helen has an interesting story. <laughs> crystal and the moon. Oh, okay, yeah. After last week's call, it was full moon, as you know. So I have this quartz crystal that's like a, a thing like this. So I went up onto the roof and actually stood, put it on the um, third eye chakra and felt the energy of the moon come straight down. It was like, whoa, this is really amplified and powerful. And then a friend of mine came up and he did the same thing. And as I watched it, this entire white crystal shone blue. And I tried to catch a photograph of it. And what happened in the photograph is that the background was light, although it was really dark at the time. Mm the whole background looked like it was daytime. It was really weird. Didn't quite catch the blue, but the whole image, it was like an indigo blue, just beaming through this crystal. Wow. Interesting stuff. Very interesting. I wonder if you, if you took a video instead of a photo. Did you try video? No, didn't uh. think to do that. It all happened really quick quickly and I took a couple mm. of pictures and mm -hmm. the guy was moving but it was like wow mm -hmm. interesting energies mm -hmm. very cool thanks for sharing you're welcome mm -hmm. so the girl that was uh on the trip today she used to be a priest <laughs> really okay. and then her crown chakra blew open about uh, a year ago. And wow. prior to that, she was questioning, you know, about the religion sure. and ministry and all that. And then, uh, then her crown chakra blew open. Wow. And uh, she hasn't been right ever since. <laughs> Maybe she is right. <laughs> wow. So she was also told to sell everything, move to CR. Really? And here, here she is, yeah. So now wow. she's going into her second community because there are communities here where you can live on the land as a community, learn about the trees and the herbs and everything. How to plant. Um, they, they live completely off the land. And um, mm. so she's going to another one next week called Awake. Wow, for a priest, uh -huh. pretty cool. Yeah, she gave up her priest ministering job. And uh, yeah, so anyways, just interesting people you come across here. Very. And she was mentioning how just by just January, she started channeling these galactic women. Um, she's got a couple from Africa, Israel, uh, uh, Parisian French and they, mm -hmm. they're all like interchangingly coming through her and so she'll start to speak 
in their tongue. Wow. Um, yeah, so I said, oh, how long have you been doing that? I said, we should get you on the show, right? And she goes, since January. <laughs> oh, whoa. I said, wow, that's exciting. A newbie. Yeah. Wow. Yes, she's fast tracking it. So it's good. A lot good. of people are. Yeah, I told her, I mean, like with everything that's been activated, uh, we have a whole onslaught of light language people. And uh, mm -hmm. I have this one. Okay. So she was, uh, she was one of those. She goes, I don't, she doesn't call it light language because it, there's specific people. So it's more like channeling, but they come out in her, in their tongue, not English. So she's got yeah. speaking African, Israeli, and French, wow. <laughs> and they all have very different energies. Wow. Very interesting. <laughs> I heard of that. <laughs> So, yeah, I've never heard of that either. Very so that's cool. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to mention that we're going to do some pineal activation, pineal gland activation tonight. But, um, you know, you know, when we have a lesson, we do a lesson and we get it intellectually. And then the second time you read it or the second time you hear it, it kind of like, oh, yeah, I never heard that part or I'd never got that part the first time around. So mm -hmm. there's a there's um like a kind of like a rule when it comes to integrating things is you don't get it until after you've done it three times. So you have to hear it, yes. see it, speak it. Um, and now now you're ready to process it. <laughs> right. Yeah, so uh, that was my training back in the days. It's like, so whatever you read, it's like, okay, you read it, but you still have to read it three times before you can start mm -hmm. actually understanding what it means, right? So yeah, and then I was thinking, oh, what are we going to do with our meditations? But everybody, everyone and every, you know, all the people who do, uh, vibrational work are working heavy on the chakras yes and of course especially the heart and um so we do want to do some more chakra work because uh, we're not out of the woods we're not out of the woods yet yeah so we're gonna activate them all like we'll, we'll do a whole activation on the full all the energy centers and, you know, also focus on clearing out and activating the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. And funny, a little bit, I didn't, which I didn't know, but a little bit about the pineal gland during the day when the light hits into your eyes, it sends a signal and activates the pineal gland and it creates serotonin. So to get you motivated and get you going and get you active during the day. And then when the lights go down, what happens is it activates uh, through your eyes down into the pineal gland. It activates uh, melatonin so that you, it can literally calm the nervous system, calm you down and get you ready to relax. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I didn't even know all that was going on. <laughs> I so, and the most active time that your pineal gland is, is between 1 and 4 a.m. in the morning. So mm. have you ever heard of like getting up at 4 a.m. and it's the best time to meditate? I have. Well, th that's why is because your pineal gland is most active. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you don't know where the pineal gland is, a good way to measure it is you take your thumb, and your index fingers, and you put your thumbs at the top of your ears. Okay. You just go to the top of your ears, and then you connect your index fingers at the top of your head. So you're gonna do straight, 
-hmm. So your pineal gland is inside the brain right here and at the top of your head down, Straight down. from the top of your head. So that's how you locate. So it's down from here and across that way. So it's right in the middle mm -hmm. of your vein. And that's one way of uh, finding out where it is. Anyways, I'm going to put a, a link after we're done so that you can educate yourself more on the pineal gland. Kind of like understanding what's going on um, when we do these things. Also, it looks like a pine cone. It's the shape of a pine cone. And um, very interesting. And also, when you look at it sideways, it is the shape of Horace's eye. Oh. So I should have I should have brought a picture, but I'll do that okay. in the repeat. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people have mistaken this eye for like the negative or the dark, when actually that's where they got it from. <laughs> I mean, good. Is our own pineal gland. Because everybody's like, oh, that's like, I'm like, no, that's from our own pineal gland. <laughs> it's just that they've mm -hmm. twisted it and used it, you know, for the dark. As they always do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do a little, uh, we're going to first connect to all the uh, energy centers in our body and mm -hmm. then do a little clearing. And then Danny, are you able to uh, get Oh, I'll be doing my this? thing. I'll be bringing in some light, and some energies to assist us and helping us to release anything that we're ready to release to really cleanse our, our chakras. And then you're gonna be working on the pineal gland. So I'll bring you a bunch of energies in. Yeah, and the reason why so, I locate, help you locate it for you is because in order to shift something, we need to put our attention, our awareness, our energy on it in order to, so to know where it, it is, the location. Um, so, so that's when we go there it will be able, you'll be able to give it some more direction. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so any questions, comments, concerns before we get started? Nope. All right. So then in with that, um, why doesn't everybody just take a relaxed position, uh, get into mm -hmm. a... Mm, whether you're seating or laying down, but have it be in a very comfortable, so you're not adjusting. So make sure you get everything settled, your clothes, your butt, your back, <laughs> your neck. Good. <laughs> uh, Good. So another thing that you can also do to help relax yourself is you take your middle index finger and when you put it up by your third eye, right between your eyebrows, when you put it there and then you just push up a little bit, that actually calms everything down. It's another way to send a signal to the nervous system to relax. So, uh, yeah, so anytime you're stressed out, you can just like, you know, you don't have to make it like a big deal, like standing in whatever the, the store or whatever. You just like stand there and just take some deep breaths and with the finger in between the third eye or in the eyebrows. So with that, yes, let's all um, take a breath and um, relax. I'm just waiting for, oh, first, yeah, I wanted to uh, create the circle. That's what I was waiting for, Danny was to okay. uh, bring in all the beings. Okay, so we're calling it? on all the energies of light to be with us here today. Our spirit guides, our angels, all the masters and teachers that are around us to surround us at this time and assist us on this uh, process of uh, cleansing and healing our chakras at this time. 
to help us release anything that does not serve us at this time and also to assist us in um, activating fully our pineal glands. And we thank you for this wonderful gift today. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so with that, let's take in five deep, beautiful breaths. And be conscious of your breaths. I mean, you're breathing anyways, so it's not like it's anything different, but be more conscious of it. And even if you have to count them on your fingers. And as you breathe in deeply, you can be bringing in golden white light, you can be bringing in love. And as you release, we're going to release uncon unconditional love. So you're going to inhale golden white light, unconditional love. And it's always good to inhale for four seconds, hold it for four seconds, and then release. And then as you release, you're going to release golden white light, unconditional love. So you're going to get a circular, energetic, unconditional flow going in and out. So it will um, create a circular energy field around you. So as we're taking in deep, beautiful breaths, I'm gonna call in also all our higher selves, our higher dimensional selves. And as we sync up into the circle, we're calling in our higher selves, individual higher selves, and then we're gonna call in individual souls. And we're gonna sync up and link up to strengthen as you continue to take deep breaths in. So let's do another five deep breaths. So as you breathe in on the count of four, breathing in one, two, three, four, hold one two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four. So we're also going to bring in all the light beings that are here to assist. So whether they be at the galactic level, earthbound, uh, spirit guides, elementals, and <clears throat> we have horses coming in today. Horses are representing extreme uh, sensitivity. They're very, very sensitive. So they're bringing in beautiful, sensitive energy.
extremely patient. And they just literally be there for you. They just be. So we keep breathing in. And we count of four, unconditional love. And as we bring in all the beings that are here for our highest and best good, we're going to also bring in solar energy, universal solar energy, our own sun solar energy, and galactic. So we're gonna merge into a one big beam of golden white light. And as this golden white light beam merges down into our circle and down into our individual crown chakras. So just imagine a big, bright golden light, big beam of golden light moving down through the top of your head, coming in from the universal, galactic, and our sun, solar energies. And these, and the solar energies have a lot of codes, um, can a lot of activation codes. And we're gonna have that golden white light come down our all our energy centers that's connected down our spine. And we're also gonna move the light through our nervous system. So if you can imagine, the golden white light moving through your head, activating both left and right hemispheres, filling up your brain with golden white light, bathing over all your glands. Moving through the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, down into the throat chakra. This is high healing activation codes. It's almost like it's scanning the body and there's no hurry scan the body and if the energies are coming down and all of a sudden they feel like they stop just be there for a bit and let the activation readjust realign clear out whatever it's needing to do it in that spot there's no hurry So as we move the golden white light down as a scanning device through our bodies, down through the heart chakra, it's also moving through the nervous system, the left and right side of your neck, it's activating the nervous system, clearing out any stress, any blocks, Anxiety, worry. And a lot of information from mm, past lives and even this lifetime that's stored in the nervous system. 
we're going to allow this golden white light to just infiltrate and let it clear out anything that needs to be cleared out. So really relax into the golden white light moving down through the nervous system, down both sides of your neck, connecting to the spine. And this main nervous system, the vagus nerve is connected to everything in your body, all the way down to organs, digestive system, heart, lungs, blood. So that's why this vagus nerve is your main nervous system. It's a good one to help relax and clear out. So as the golden white light is moving down our bodies, going through our heart chakra, and we want to open and activate the heart chakra to the vibration of unconditional love, pure light, pure truth. And we feel the golden white light moving through the rib cage, the lungs, thyroid anything that you're carrying in your back so mid back lower back wherever you place attention you can release whatever is jammed stuck not moving just give it some love and attention. Just basically give it permission to leave. So we move the golden white light down into the solar plex, just above your belly button. And we clear out the digestive system, intestines, small, large, spleen, kidneys. We release all worry and stress. Just imagine the golden white light moving through your body, around the stomach area, in your back. Clearing out the liver, kidneys, spleen. Releasing all anger, stress. We continue to scan our body down into the sacral which is just below the belly button. Clearing out any doubt, worry, fear, trauma. We're gonna open and activate these energy centers to the vibration of unconditional love, pure light, pure truth and letting go of all these made up identities. And all these, I have to do this and I have to do that and I should do this and all the stuff that you didn't do. 
you're going to let go of all the judgments. And how you should be and how you've been being that is not aligned with who you want to be. I'm going to release all that. These are all made up identities that are causing the distortion. And our spirit team is actually doing a lot of work also by increasing the energy field, increasing the light. And also restoring and repairing anything. And is ready to be repaired at this time, ready to be released at this time. And we're going to have the golden white light move down into the root chakra. It's like golden white light moving down into the root chakra, at the tailbone. Balancing out masculine and feminine. Releasing all traumas, distortions, distractions, discouragements. Releasing all shame and guilt. Tapping into inner child, connecting with inner child. Increasing the vibration of the root chakra to safety, love, unconditional love. And pure allowing. So the golden white light is in there clearing up along with the spirit team, galactic team. So relaxing the digestive system also, just keep relaxing. There's nothing to hang on to. It's just, it's okay to let it go. Just continue to breathe into it and relax. Relax your stomach. Beautiful. So now we're moving the energy down through down our legs and clearing out anything in the knees, the thighs, the calves, all the way down into the feet. Golden white light moving down to the legs, down all the way down to our feet, clearing anything out ready to move forward, ready to step into our power, standing on our own two feet. So we're gonna move the golden white light down below our feet, tapping into the chakras underneath our feet that are connected to Gaia. So now you are fully grounded from the top of your head, down below your feet, moving into Gaia. So this energy moves right down into the planet. There's a lot of healing properties in Gaia. So 
like the roots of the tree, the roots of your feet, just finding roots in Gaia, tapping into high vibration. And this energy not only goes down, but it keeps, it comes back up. So we have like almost two running highways going down and back up. So the energy of Gaia moving back up your legs, up through the root chakra, sacral, solar plex. Clearing everything in the midsection. Letting go, letting go, letting go, relaxing. It's time to release it. You don't need to know what you need to do or who you need to be. You don't need to know. You just need to be and you need to relax. So the energy moves up into the heart chakra. The middle of your chest and we're, it's expanding, expanding, expanding the light. We're also going to ask all the energy centers to increase the spinning of the chakra. They all spin in a clockwise motion. We're going to ask that they all increase in the spinning. So we're going to increase the spinning and the vibration of each energy center to as much as you can handle tonight. And just get present to the amount of energy that's moving through you. In the heart chakra. And also all the energy centers, just increasing speed. We're moving up into the throat. Increasing the speed, increasing the vibration to pure, unconditional love, pure truth, pure allowing. Opening up, opening up, opening up. Be your voice, be your voice. Speak with truth and love. Moving into the third eye. And we're also going to just focus now more on our pineal gland, pineal gland, whichever way you want to say it, there's no right or wrong, the cone shaped gland in the middle of your head that's connected to the eyes. And we're going to clear away anything and everything that is blocking it from operating to its fullest optimal self. So we ask our higher selves, our source, souls, galactic beings, all our spirit teams, all of you individually to just Place attention and focus and awareness on the pineal gland and increase the vibration of the pineal gland to the vibration of pure, unconditional love 
pure light. Good. So we're gonna increase the vibration, continue increasing the vibration to clear away any obstacles, blocks, uh, anything that's you know blocking it, whether it be belief systems, physical. Allow the light to come in and allow it to activate. We're going to increase the pineal gland to the highest vibration that you can physically handle at this time. Oh. So focus, attention, awareness, the middle of your head to this pineal gland, this porous eye connected to the third eye. Or increase activation and clear away anything that's blocking it from operating at its optimal self. So golden white light coming down through the brain, through the head area. Increasing the uh, white light, increasing the vibration through the third eye and the crown, increasing the vibration, connecting to the pineal gland and clearing away everything and anything that is preventing, stopping, blocking it from activating and operating at its full potential. We clear away all this now. Beautiful. A lot of bright light around the head area, moving right through the head, side of the head going through, and even at the top of the head, going right down through the top of the head and meeting up with the pineal gland. And if you just be present, you probably feel the vibration or the knocking or the buzzing, however way you feel it. If you don't feel anything, that's fine. It's still working. Awesome. And at any time, they're saying at any time, you can ask for their assistance in clearing out the pineal gland, activating it, increasing the vibration and increasing the light. They're there to help you, support you and assist you in doing this. So you can ask any time. All right, so moving the golden white light and the energy from Gaia back up through the crown chakra surrounding us uh, in the energy field, 
not only individually, but as a collective in the circle. And we're clearing out everything and anything across all time, space, and dimension through all contracts, all past lives. Whatever is ready and able to be released at this time. So clearing away anything and everything that's connected across time, space, and dimension. And anything that needs to be healed at this time, any extra attention that needs to go to different parts of the body, we just ask that our guides, our spirit team, or everyone that's here assisting us to just go there and get that, handle that for us. Whether it be relaxing the mind, relaxing the nervous system, clearing out any of the organs that are holding on to any stress, any worry, any anxiety. Transmuting it or releasing it and bringing in joy, increasing the joy and the happiness and the unconditional love. We're increasing this vibration. So we can step into our powerful knowing self with clarity. We can be into action. Be on purpose. Increase our intuition and our ability to see, get your visions clearer, and also hear what your guides or your spirit team is saying. Have better, clearer conversations. Okay, beautiful. We're just going to let them do the last minute touches, touch ups. <laughs> it's like airbrushing, they just airbrush stuff out. Um, so take in a few more deep breaths and let all this integrate. And anything and everything that I have forgotten to mention, we ask that the spirit team handle that. And we also saying that we have better relations with our spirit team, with our spirit guides. That's what one of them was saying. Yes, we want they we want them to be able to connect with us more and in, in a clear, clear channel. Oh, so with that, let's all take a few deep breaths slowly come back and still allow the clearing and activation to continue for the next few days. You're going to be mindful and conscious. Integrate. Be kind to yourself. Relax. Do not stress yourself out. Very important to stay grounded, calm, and connected. Oh. 
Okay, and when you're ready, you all can come back and open your eyes. You want to grab some water. Hopefully, charge water. Unconditional love, true love, truth, and true pure allowing. Put your intention in your water. Mm -hmm. Water is powerful. Water has memory. Thank you. So well, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. Welcome to the call, all you latecomers that came in. You're already connected to the gang. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was like a lot of energy. It was. It was beautiful stuff. Mm. Anybody uh, feel some activations or insights or visions? They're just melting pots. They're just all melting pots. <laughs> Puddles on the floor. <laughs> Puddles. <laughs> well, if they're not going to talk, I'll add my, my two cents worth. All right. So you were bringing in the golden light from the top down and into Mother Earth. Then Mother Earth, you're bringing in that white light back upwards. And as you're getting up to maybe the sacral or solar plexus, uh, all that energy was flowing up through all our chakras. Every chakra had its own tone, own um, musical tone. And the and of course the oh. base chakra was a lower one, then it went higher and higher. And I could hear all these tones for every one of our chakras. And of mm -hmm. course the crown chakra was a very high vibrational tone almost like a tuning fork um just sound vibration it's very interesting mm. it's great it's, that you picked that up yeah and when we put our, our attention on the pineal gland um i saw so much white light and there was so many beings around here oh my god it was busy um assisting us and bringing in their light and bringing in their love and I heard that uh, you mentioned about a pitch, and I heard this really high bing vibration tone uh, when we were working on the pineal gland. Mm. And I asked them to assist in uh, removing any outside interference. Because we are, or have been, um, really messed with by different beings of the dark. And so I asked them to remove all outside influences, all programming, all spells, curses, whatever it might be, that's holding back our pineal glands, to remove them all, shed mm. them all, whatever it may be, anything that's from an outside interference that's holding us back. And I just saw things just shedding off for the whole group, because we were in a group, right? So that's my take on all this. And lots of love. Boy, lots of love. It was awesome. It was. You do a very good job. You really do. <laughs> Thank you. No, you do. You do a lot of great back end work there. <laughs> um, catching all, but you catching just know everything. what to say. You know how to uh, make it happen. Um, mm. Kudos to you. Cool. How's everyone else feeling? <laughs> puddles. There's still puddles. What's going on? <laughs> Not Maybe if a we, word. If we throw in some kind of controversial type conversation, everybody will be up in arms. <laughs> trying to get, can't get a word in edgewise. All right. So we're going to you know, just move on to the next, uh, 
next mm -hmm. sec section of our call. And uh, is there any uh, particular person that you would like to connect with? Or Danny, did anything come forth while we were doing this meditation that you wanted to connect with? Um, I was getting collective energy from off planet, which should be our galactic families. But then again, aren't we our galactic families too? Yeah. Because we've had, or still are, having many lifetimes off planet. Really, we're we're there and they're here. Vice versa, right? Mm -hmm. We're one just giant family. We may not look alike, but we are joint family. Um, yeah, I was getting the word universal consciousness, which may be even above that. Mm -hmm. More on soul level, more on that cosmic um, higher self level, non-physical. Okay, that's what I got. Yeah. to bring in those levels of consciousness to um, see what they have to say for us on this planet. Sure, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Would you like drum roll or are you good? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> good. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, By the way, uh, Lord Jeshua was there helping us with the pineal gland and all of our chakras today. Um, his energy is so strong. He was here with us. Okay. We wish to communicate with those higher consciousnesses, those higher collective frequencies of the higher self, of the soul, and either, even the oversoul at this time to share with us your thoughts, your feelings for us here in this physical form on this planet at this time. We welcome you in at this time. Frequency. We wish to talk to you about frequency. Everything, as you know, is a vibration. Everything is a tone and frequency um, vibrating at different frequencies, tones, um, for the physical form, it has to be a certain frequency to hold the molecules together to be a physical form. That frequencies on this um, entire universe are rising, to use the right phrase, it's the frequency shift. Moving to that higher state at this time. So your planet is undergoing these frequency shifts, frequency changes vibrational changes at this time and it's in all levels of your existence whether it be your mental whether it be your emotional whether it be your physical and your energy bodies are all vibrating at a higher vibration as this time as these new frequencies and energies are coming to your planet on all levels on all dimensions this is happening on a scale that you can, it is be very hard for you to understand. On so many levels are these vibrations rising and climbing, rising and climbing, bringing you up to that higher level of consciousness and awareness at this time. So many on your planet are having difficulties handling these new frequencies, these new levels that your planet is uh, ascending to. Many people are having what you may call ascension symptom, symptoms at this time, which are an array of many things, whether it be mentally and emotional, um, not getting enough sleep, feeling lightheaded, feeling very tired, feeling very irritable. For many of these frequencies, you have never experienced before. These frequencies are here for you to assist you in this evolution that you're on of climbing to the higher dimensions, the higher densities. Yes, they're hard for you to handle in, in this physical form because this physical form is quite dense. 
where your higher self and your consciousness is at a much higher non-physical existence. So for your bodies, expect to feel a lot of discomfort, a lot of change, um, a lot of frequencies that are going to affect the way you think, the way you go through your day. Um, it's part of the process on your planet at this time and to accept them and to work with them and get a, the proper amount of rest and definitely drink a lot of good water. Good water will help to ground your body. Also, we highly recommend being in nature, being outside as much as you can. Get close to, to, the, to Mother Earth. If you can, be in bare feet. Get that grounding energy to help assist you in handling these ascension symptoms and uh, assist you in handling these new vibrations and even codes that are coming to you on many, many levels. A difficult time for many of you who, what you may use the word asleep, for they don't understand why these things are happening to them and they're wondering, what's wrong with me? Why do I have these different thoughts? Why do I have these different aches and pains? And why am I not sleeping properly? For they do not understand. This level of awareness will continue to the point where they will understand why they're feeling these for you where much more awareness to the average person on your planet will be available they will start to understand what is happening to them and to the planet and it will be people like yourselves who are already there who fully understand the process that you're going through this level of ascension where you can share your knowledge and your knowing knowing about what is happening on the planet and what is happening to each and every one of us. This is a time where we need to help others understand. We under, we know that it's very difficult at this time for, for many are very confused. Um, you have so much um, confusion on your planet, so much diversity. Your um, cabal, as you wish to call them, are creating so much havoc on your planet. And so many people are confused, don't know which is coming left and coming right. And we understand that it's very difficult for them to get a handle on what is going on, let alone their ascension symptoms. This time it will be continuing for those that are not of that high vibration. They will have a difficult time in this transition. But those that are of the light, those that hold a high vibration, those that are connected to source are going to have a much easier time, a much easier time where there'll be more lightness, more joy, more peace of mind at, in these higher realms and these higher vibrations where those that are not aware are going to have a difficult time. It's going to be difficult for them. So what we wish to uh, share with you today is the fact that your planet is on track. The vibrations are coming. The light codes are coming. All these frequencies that are bumping you up step by step closer to your end game, which is your fourth and fifth dimension. As we all know, that they are here to support you. They are here to assist you on this journey. And many beings of light are here right beside you, right with you, holding your hand at this time. You may call them angels. You may call them spirit guides. You may call them beings of light, of higher consciousness that are here for you to assist you on this rise of vibration, on this journey that you've taken, um, you are taking on at this time. So be still, be in peace. Share what you can with others who may not understand what is happening. Even if they do not understand, you're planting seeds in their minds. Know that all of this is in perfect divine um, matter, that this is all working out perfectly. We all know that God is behind all of this, that creation is all behind this. This is your time of glory. This is your time of joy. This is the time to move forward on your evolutionary journey here on this earth plane 
in this physical form. So we're moving to a new paradigm, a new dimension. This is all in the near future. And many of you know this to be true. Keep your peace, keep your love, share your kindness with others. Now, this is a time of great need for many are very upset, many are very confused, and many are very angry. They do not understand, and they're dealing with their own lower vibrational, emotional stuff at this time, these issues that have not been resolved. Many of you have been speaking about this or know friends who are not having a very good time. They're very anxious, they're very uh, confused, and many are very angry. And it's a very difficult time for them. So we can suggest for you to speak with these friends, these people that you may know, but also keep them in your prayers. Prayers are very powerful. Prayers are a complete a connection to source and asking source to step in and help. We suggest this highly to keep them all in your prayers. We have nothing much more to share with you, but know that everything is happening in a divine order. Everything is controlled by your consciousness, which is rising and, and actually manifesting this into your future uh, paradigm. You are manifesting this on a collective level. All the spirits, all the angels are all here to just assist you for the momentum of your uh, evolution to move forward is controlled by your consciousness you are controlling the speed that you ascend and on a collective level you are doing very well you are doing very well we keep you in our hearts we keep you keep you in our prayers for your journey is of a divine one and it's guaranteed that you are coming home we leave this message with you now at this time. And we share our, all our love. Namaste. Thank you so much. Just checking in with anybody. Does anybody have any questions? Or do you, is there anything else you'd like to ask on those lines? Wow, we got a really quiet group. Okay, so Universal Collection Collective. We thank mm. you so much. Mm. <clears throat> it's a nice energy. Mm -hmm. No comments of any kind? Um. Yeah. Uh, for me, I I had a little bit of cold the last few days, and I know that it's um for me just really to slow down because I've been just uh, really the last two or three months is just rushing and rushing. So um, I had a cold from mm -hmm. Friday, and and I knew it's for really purpose for me just to slow down. So I been slowing down for the last two days and um and i'm really feeling well and your message now it just resonates so much thank you very much thank yes, you yes uh, when we're supposed to uh, listen and um take a rest and slow down the universe will do this to us mm. <laughs> i know a woman who was too busy she was a light worker and she sprained her ankle and she ignored the message to slow down with her sprained ankle and kept going and going. What did she do? She sprained her other ankle. <laughs> this is the universe saying, you didn't listen the first time. We're going to do it again till you get it. Mm -hmm. And wow. then she had to slow down. Wow. She didn't. And this is a psychic and a medium. She mm -hmm. didn't listen the first time. <laughs> Until spirit or whatever you want to call it said, okay, we're going to do the other leg. <laughs> oh, no. Both uh, ankles sprained. Uh, she was forced to slow down. See? Uh, uh, and so this is a very important time in our history is to really um, keep our, ourselves grounded, keep ourselves at peace. Uh, I'm just remembering um, 
the spirit just said that we should be more grounded, get out in nature, get outside. That's very important for us. It's so important to be grounded and just to be in nature. It's really powerful for us. And to help, and it actually helps us um, um, ac accept or maybe work with those new frequencies and energies coming in. Because our mother is a healer. Good. Mother Earth is a healer. She's here to assist us. Mm -hmm. She really is. She really is our mother. She's wonderful. Any other comments? Thanks to hear. Oh, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, Thanks. Um, you're very welcome. You're welcome. Nice to see you here. So, um, does anybody else have any other comments or want to share anything? It's a very clear message. I, I wonder <laughs> if your meditation knocked them out. I don't know what's happening tonight. <laughs> this is like, I think we're in between the uh, full moon and yeah. equinox. Maybe we're in like the dip. <laughs> But that's okay. We can take a break. <laughs> we certainly can. We certainly. I mean, e even on the days we're taking breaks, there's lots of stuff happening. So. Yeah. Oh, very much so behind the scenes. <laughs> a lot. This is an incredible time to be alive. There's so oh. much happening. I sense so it. Some days I feel it, and we know that um, there's actually a war going on between the light and the dark, and the light is definitely got the upper hand so you so can't stop god mm. god has so got this today we are speaking like you know you have your perspective on a, a specific issue or dilemma or whatever but you have mm. to continually look at all the facets of the situation so if we have like a diamond has many facets so when you True. have when stuff is going on on the planet, what you're picking up is only one of those facets, right? So it's like, okay, show me another side, another side, another yes, side, another side. side, and keep moving the diamond around and keep moving your issue around to get more uh, facets to it, more angles, more different, yeah, different thought forms around it. Um, so we were having that discussion today because it's like, well, is the earth flat? Is it round? Da, da, da. You know, <laughs> it's like, well, it's just one facet of it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, I mean, everybody's right with the angle that they're looking at it. Depends on your perspective. Yeah. So. Very much so. Everyone's right, but is it the truth, right? So it's like, oh, I don't know. Like, just keep looking. Keep it's looking. their truth. Yeah. So with that, it's just a reminder to uh, keep allowing and stay open to all angles of the information and not go and not reject or not, you know, get all crazy over one idea that comes well, through. Well, there's Maybe so much. Land. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much going on. <laughs> and to try to ignore some of the news and just you know take care of yourself really yeah don't worry about it you know what and whether you know the indictments are happening or whatever like you still got to do you you still got to be grounded you still got to be connecting so take care of ourselves it's very important yeah don't That's hang out there too much <laughs> So exactly. with that, um, is there anything else you'd like to add, Danny, before we close out and do a little well, prayer? I, I don't think we've been doing this in a big way, but I, I want to do a, a closing prayer for all mm -hmm. of us. Um, a connecting prayer, a, a healing prayer um, for us at this time. for and, and, the, and the people in our lives, we all know someone or a bunch of people who are having a very difficult time whether it's financially or physically or emotionally, uh, there's a lot of suffering out there. There really is. And I really want to uh, concentrate energy on those people and ourselves this time um, to bring in some beautiful energies, to bring some peace to them. 
um, any healing to them at all. I'd like to do that at this time. We call on Father, Mother, God, Creator at this time. We call on all the heavens of angels. We call on all our spirit guides, our angels, all our healers here at this time to shower your light on all of us at this time, all our friends and family and our collective soul on this planet at this time, where we need your help. We need your light. We need your love. We ask that you shower that powerful healing love on each and every one of us at this time to assist us on our journey here. For some of us are going through great, great difficulties, great pain at this time. We ask that you assist us on every step of the way. We ask that you hold our hands. Give us the guidance that we need to get through all of this. Assist us in having the strength to get through all of these difficult times. Assist us in raising our spirits higher and our vibration higher so that we may lift above these earthly troubles and difficulties and not give them any energy so that we may rise above them and heal from them at this time. Hold our hands, hold our hearts in your minds. Assist us in healing. Assist us on taking the next steps to have the strength to move forward on our divine path here on this planet, for this is such a difficult time. We, we enjoy your love, we enjoy your guidance, and we enjoy the, all the help that you give us. We, we know you're there. We just need tremendous love and tremendous light and tremendous healing at this time on all levels, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, energetic, etheric, spiritual, on all levels, on all dimensions and all timelines. We call on you to shower this light, to shower this love, and to shower these healing energies on us now at this time. For we are so grateful for your love and your light and for the assistance that you give us every minute of every day. For we accept your love and your healing as manifest right here and now. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's lovely. If we've oh. ever needed help before, we need it now the most. Mm. We really need their help now. We all need to pray more. We really do. It's very important. Um, there's so many people hurting this time. So many people. It's really a difficult time for most. So we hold our friends and family in our hearts and we send them our love and we send them our prayers. Yeah. Hold from, them in the light. Everyone has a credible journey ahead of them. And it is so with that, that was uh, beautiful. And um, I appreciate uh, you, Danny, for doing all the work that you do and all the lives that uh, you're touching, that we're touching. And uh, everybody yeah, yeah. here um, mm -hmm. that came tonight to co-create with the energies and the more the numbers, the stronger the energy goes out and the more activation you get <laughs> yeah well i appreciate all of up. i am so grateful to have everybody here it really is wonderful to have you all here yes i just Absolutely. feel this connection it's wonderful yeah and thank you lucy for for being the uh, director here the mc you're welcome you're welcome Mm -hmm. so with that i appreciate all you guys and mm -hmm. uh stay connected stay grounded and we will see you guys next week thank you Lucy. take care thank you, Danny. Thanks so much. You. oh you're welcome thank you guys we'll talk to you later take care night okay, bye thank you bye